Hello everyone, this is Ordinary Beauty 07. My real name is Key, but Ordinary Beauty 07 because I am an ordinary person made beautiful from within by my creator and also the number seven because it is God's number. So I did a video earlier today for my car and I was telling you about um, that I would start journeying, uh, well, video logging my journey, my experiences and things that I was going through. And this has been one of the things that I have not, um, I have not been able to share with this channel. And it's for a very good reason. But um, I feel the Lord saying to me that this is what he has um, given me to do and that I should not be ashamed. And um, there's a reason for what I do. So I want to show you what um, what is going on in the back here. And this is, um, this is my studio. I am a dancer. And when I say that, I mean I am a dancer in hip hop and modern dance. Uh, I have a cheerleading background, uh, and this is my studio where I teach ladies how to get fit, but also we have uh, obviously dance poles in the back. So I'm going to um, kind of back up a bit, and I'm going to take a seat before my students get here, and uh, I'm going to explain to you how I got to this journey. On the back over here, we have like some sayings. I like to have uh, some motivation all around, and uh just for the ladies and then this is our studio home where we have our hip hop classes, our um, boot camp classes, ab classes, and of course we have pole classes. So um, the journey to where I got to. So earlier I spoke about the fact that I had a platform where I can talk to women and where I got the opportunity to meet so many women. And um, this is, uh, been one of the most amazing journeys that I have ever done in my life. And um, I want to fast forward and go ahead and tell those um, who have never heard my story before how I even got here. Um, as far as me owning a studio, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. And um, I've met thousands and thousands of women and I've taught thousands of women. Okay. And this is just another day that I get a chance and an opportunity to teach my students, but also to learn from them and to be a light. So my journey happened when one of my best friends who happens to be a triplet asked me to come out to a pole studio. Now, I am a Christian and for me, I was very reserved at the time. So meaning I was very just Bible, um, I was really like preachy and I, I really was more about condemnation, like talking about, um, you know, how people would actually end up in hell or, you know, whatever. Um, I just was very judgmental and not because I was trying to be judgmental, but because ever since the age of seven, for a lot of you know that the Lord has really, um, he has been my best friend, my everything. He introduced himself to me and let me know that um, this is what I was going to be doing. Now, as a little girl, I didn't understand that. What I did know was that I talked about Jesus a lot, that I really cared about what he thought. I really cared about pleasing him. And I wanted everybody else to do the same thing because it was the conviction in my spirit, okay? So as I got older, the Lord, of course, he taught me in different ways of how to... Um, Instead of always just pushing out things that were actually being put on me and trying to, um, trying to like I guess brawby others to um, to conform because of what was in my spirit, it's more for me. And I've learned over the years is that it's just for me to observe, me to pray, me to be supportive and show love. Um, if people see light of God in me, then that's going to draw them to Him. So that's what I've learned. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward and kind of give a little bit of reader digest because as I look at the clock, I know my students will be arriving here short, shortly. So anyways, I went to a pole studio um, and I was not happy. Okay. I did not want to go. My husband was like, you know, go support them because it's his best friend, uh, his best friend's wife. I ended up um, going, hold on one second. I'm going to stop this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had a um, phone call. But um, anyway, 
so I ended up going to this uh, this studio and I was very reserved I didn't pretend on participating what I had known of pole in any way was just strip club was maybe booty shaking was maybe just raunchy activity and I was not even I wasn't there for that I didn't want to participate but I decided you know I wanted to be a good sport and support them it's their birthday and um, I go along when I got there I wasn't really happy I, of course I was just I had a bad um, body language everything trying to be nice um, got inside the room uh, the young lady that owns the studio was moving around, um, coming into the end, and basically when she did her dance on the pole, what I noticed is it was very artful. So it looked as if like someone that is a ballerina or someone that has taken, they definitely have dance experience. That's what she did. And it was like very Circus Soleil. If you've ever been to Circus Soleil and seen them do tricks, maybe on a rope, they do have pole now. Um, on, I mean, different types of things. They're coming from the air, coming from below. Is there all over? That's what it looked like. It was amazing. I felt loved. I loved it. Okay. Uh, once I, um, once I started taking, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm getting off because I mean, just kind of thinking back to that experience. But once I saw it, they changed my mind about what I thought it to be. Uh, as a matter of fact, everybody else with us had the same um, uh, type of experience. Uh, we ended up taking a class. It was, it was just, it was amazing. I just thought like, wow, this is, this is art. It's not what I thought at all. Like I didn't know that part of it at all. So anyway, afterwards, um, long story short, I'm fast forwarding. I ended up deciding to open up my own studio. Now that was placed in my heart. And again, I'm, I'm moving kind of quickly because my, um, clients are getting ready to show up. But, um, I ended up fast forward, um, ended up buying a franchise and um, doing home parties and women, I just found it was a need for that. But we're gonna fast forward to the part where I ended up uh, getting ready to purchase my studio. And I remember saying to the Lord like, okay, so how can I tell these people that, like I'm a Christian and for those that know I'm a Christian and this is what I'm doing, like that was like one of the hardest things to explain to people. I knew I was working out like in my basement using my pole. I was, I had lost 30 pounds in like four months doing it. I had gotten stronger. I just, it was just so amazing. Like I, I didn't know that you could work out that way. I didn't know that um, it could be different from what I ever thought it to be. So anyway, what happened was as I got the studio and um, of course I was talking about God and um, I was, I was, I had a home studio where I would do, um, private lessons too so in that um a lot i saw a lot of women that were broken uh sheltered torn, torn down suicidal uh going through every female uh, self you know their self-esteem so low um just all kind of things um when they came in well, well this is what the lord said he said to me that it wasn't about the pole because that's what was going to draw the ladies in once the ladies got in, then they would see and they would feel it would be different. And when I tell you to this day, um, it has definitely been an experience, a ride. And these ladies, when they come into the door now, they say um, it's something about the spirit in here. Um, they love the atmosphere, the way it feels, the sisterhood, the bonding, um, doing something challenging that they never thought they could do. We use these equipments like gym equipment. I mean, we're getting really strong. I've been allowed to, um, well, well, as far as my physical fitness, I'm very fit. Um, I'm very toned. Uh, when I go out, people ask me if I, you know, they, they, they speak about, you know, me seeing that I work out and I'm very toned. They wonder what I do. It's just a, it's just a way for people to get, it's not like church. Like when people go to church, they expect to uh, uh, have an experience or for whatever reason they go to, to, to hear from God or whatever it might be. When they come into this studio, that's not what they're looking for. When they come into the studio, it might be other things. They're looking for self-esteem. They're looking to find their sexy. They're looking to find an escape or do something that was on their bucket list. And then they walk in and they find all these women together, encouraging, loving on one another. Um, they see that it's challenging, but it's a challenge. And that there's no men in here. There's no judgment. And we're doing, this is our workout. And it's building us up, um, making us stronger. And it's a place where women can really come to, let their hair down, reconnect, and um, 
find Christ, know Christ, uh, see the light in myself. And then God has also surrounded me with staff members that are, you know, like minded, even those in the prophetic as um, God has. Um, he's working in me. So to have those people around me has been very um, amazing. And I see God's hand in every aspect of it. So um, that's the short of the story of what I do. I said I was gonna share it, so it's for me to make sure that I keep it sweet, um, that you know, but also um, my grandmother-in-law, she said this uh, one time, I was taking her to a church. Very spiritual woman of God, amazing woman of God, uh, was never ashamed of what I was doing because she knew what it was doing and it was bringing women in and it was building them up and she knew I was being a light. And one particular day, I dropped her off at a new church near our home, and I went to pick her back up. And as, as I was picking her up, she was telling um, some of the ladies at the church, like, this is my granddaughter's business. Like, this is what she does. She was asking me to give them business cards. And um, when I was giving her the business cards, I was just feeling like, oh, my God, they're going to judge me. Like, they're going to think this is strip club. This is just us getting crazy. And they're going to, like, I, I, I was just embarrassed. Um, and so when I gave it to her, she recognized the look on my face and she got in the car and she said, and I'm just being very candid, very transparent. This is what she said. This is my grandmother-in-law. I love her, love her, love her. Um, I know she is in heaven with Christ now. Um, but she said to me, um, you're not embarrassed about your business, are you? And then I just kind of looked and she said, don't you be embarrassed of what you do. And then she said, y'all not having sex in there, are you? And that made me laugh. Like, I just, I laugh. I just bust out laughing. Like, it was, and she just said it like, like, come on. Like, you're not doing anything you're not supposed to do. You have women in there. You're teaching them. I've been, she's, she had been coming to classes. She saw it. She saw the empowerment it was giving women. She saw that um, my light was shining. She saw that this was my ministry, that this is what I was supposed to do to bring women in. And that they knew that they can have a safe place to work out, to be encouraged, to know that there is um, nothing um, that, they, that they have ever done that could ever keep God's love away from them. And that they would find love here. OK, and, and it's not just about the outside, but about what's in here, too, and what they were receiving inside so they can go out and be a light and touch others in a positive way. We're breeding light, <laughs> light breeders, light shiners, um, whatever you want to call them. We're glowing. OK, so anyway, she said that and she said, don't be ashamed of your business. You're doing a good job. She said, I'm proud of you. And that's coming from a, a, a matriarch of our family who at one point didn't understand why I was doing this at one point, including my mother-in-law, including my mother. Like these women didn't want me being depicted a certain way, so they didn't understand it. But I remember my mother-in-law saying to me, thank God for pole fitness. Like at one time we talked about it, she saw the good it was doing people. She said that she didn't agree with it at first. And, and my mom as well. My mother is a a Holy Ghost filled Christian, okay, that I have seen uh, miraculous work in her. I have seen God, the power of the Lord. And if you go back to some of my other videos, you'll see I was raised in a Christian church, in a Christian home. I have had my own personal experiences outside of what church could ever give me, okay? I've had my own personal Christ Jesus talking to me and all kind of experience okay so this is what he told me every time i tried to stop doing what i'm doing now this is my third studio okay he said to me stay the path stay the purpose and he said it through a, uh, um, another sister in christ of mine that's very dear to me that is here and i didn't even know that she was a christian i didn't even know she prayed he through the holy spirit located and told me what to ask her what to you know do so anyway I'm getting ready to start my class, but I just want to let you know that this is my truth. This is what I live in. This is what I do every single day. OK, I'm here to touch people. And like my grandmother told me, I'm not going to be ashamed. This is my life. OK, and I pray that you are led by the spirit of God to do whatever is in your heart. And if you are not spiritual, then know that there is something in you, a knowing that's telling you this is what I've been born to do. Everybody has a path. Everybody has a purpose everybody and everybody has a gift and usually it's whatever your your mind has been leading you to and pulling you to for the longest something you can't quite shake 
no matter how you try to do it. It may be some that does not make sense. But at the end of the day, if you yield to it and if you have faith, because it's not about fear. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. And I and I challenge you to do this. You do not have to be a Christian to do this because Bible principles are going to work no matter who you are. Just do this. When you wake up in the morning, say, I have the spirit of love. I walk in the spirit of power and I walk in the spirit of a sound mind. And I do not receive fear in my life whatsoever. Period. And I don't walk in fear. Just say that. See what happens. Do it for three months. And if you can't do it for 30 days. So I'm getting ready to get up from here. I've been getting several texts since we've been talking here. And um, I'm going to make sure that I don't have anybody at the front door waiting for me. But uh, this is my studio. This is my story. And I thank you for being on the adventure with me. I am very excited to have finally let that go because I have not been wanting to share that for fear that people wouldn't understand it. And then they would think that all of us Christians are just so fickle and that we, we, we say we're Christians, but then we live like the world. And that's not my life. And I don't want that to represent Christ in any way. So uh, that's, um, that's my story for today. And I thank you guys for listening. And I will talk to you all in the next vlog. Have a blessed and a wonderful Sunday. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.